On this episode of the show, we're going to talk about why your IRA is not protected for your beneficiaries. Creating wealth, protecting families, building legacy. This is the Rich Life Lawyer Show. Hey everybody, this is episode 76 of the Rich Life Lawyer Show. I'm your host, Christopher Small. I am the owner of CMS Law Firm. I am an estate planning attorney, and I'm excited to talk to you today about your IRA and the changes that happen when it is passed down to a beneficiary, even your spouse. So you may or may not know this, but your IRA, um, when you own it or when you have it, is actually protected from pretty much all creditors. So if you file bankruptcy, if you have a lawsuit that is brought against you, if anything happens, basically your IRA and all the funds in that IRA are protected from those people, absent some very specific circumstances. And that's a great thing, it's a good thing to know because that, that means you're protected basically when you need to retire, you can have the money that you need to do that. Now a lot of people believe, and until recently, um, even attorneys believed, that when your IRA is passed down to a beneficiary, whether it be a spouse or uh, a child or anyone, that those same protections moved along to the beneficiary. But a recent Supreme Court ruling um, has thrown all of that into the wind, and it's not true anymore. When your IRA is passed down to someone, that those funds, all those funds, then become attachable by a creditor. They become dischargeable in bankruptcy, which means if you have a deadbeat kid and he gets your IRA, then those creditors can go after those funds and take them all for themselves. Uh, so that's a big deal, something important to think about. When it comes to your spouse, the same thing is true, but your spouse has the option to roll over that IRA into their own IRA, which then recreates all of those protections. Now, real quickly, let's talk about why that happens, why you lose those protections once the IRA is passed down. There are two, really, two main reasons for that. Reason number one is that the beneficiary of your IRA can no longer make contributions to that specific IRA. They're not allowed to, to create their own uh, new IRA out of yours. Okay, they, they can have their own separate IRA over here, but your IRA, the one that comes down to them, it just stays as is. You cannot fund it anymore um, as a beneficiary. The second thing that happens when your IRA is passed down is that the penalty for early withdrawal goes away. Now your beneficiary will still have to pay income tax on whatever they take out of the IRA, but there's no 10% penalty like there would be if you were gonna withdraw those funds early. For those two reasons, the IRA, when it's passed down to a beneficiary, basically no longer has the characteristics of an IRA. For that reason, the court says, if you don't have an IRA, you don't get the protections of an IRA. That's really important to think about when you are considering passing down your IRA to your beneficiary, whether it be a spouse or someone else. There is a major way that you can sort of reinstate all of those conditions, and that's with the trust. So you can create a trust just for your IRA, you can create a trust in general that has built in creditor protections that can require a stretch that can prevent those big, those big early distributions with all those income tax uh, penalties, not penalties, income tax uh, obligations associated with it, you can sort of work all that out within a trust. And I can help you do that if you'd like. So if you have more questions about your IRA and passing it down and what that all that actually means, please call me today, 206-659-1512. You can email me, chris at cmslawfirm.com. I would love to speak with you, I'd love to help you out. Thank you for your time.